Hello everyone, this is Mandeep Singh Shekhawat and today we will be deep diving into 5th chapter of designing data intensive application which is replication. Here we will discuss the definition of replication, what replication stands for and what are the different means of replication. And when we say replication, basically what we mean is replication of data. So there is one copy and then you want to replicate this data, you want to create copies of this data. Okay, this is C1 copy. You can assume this is your primary copy and then you are copying this data to at multiple places. Okay? So this is called replication. So how can you do it? When we talk about distributed databases, when we have distributed systems, how can you achieve this kind of replication? We will be deep diving into that. So let's start. Now uh, first before moving to like uh, what are the different ways of replication and how can you do it? Why you want to do it before? Okay, we will do it. Why do we do replication? We will pay extra money. Okay? If you want to replicate this data in multiple places, you have to pay extra. You have to configure extra hardware. Why do I want to do it? There are certain reasons, right? If there are no reasons, then there is no reason to do it. <laughs> so what, what is the first reason? So let's say your application is available in multiple regions. My uh, users in USA may be here. My uh, users in India may be here. Then I want to serve the users as fast as possible. Let's say uh, I have my uh, social media application. Now my social media application has this database. Now my users uh, are in USA and my users are in India. Let's say our database is located in USA. Okay, so the users of USA will fetch this data from here and India users will fetch from here as well. If you see, there can be a time lag to retrieve the data due to the bandwidth constraints or because uh, the distance is more basically. Okay, the network packets has to travel more more. Uh, it has to be uh, routed via multiple places before it reaches to Indian users. So what you can do, you can create a copy of this data in India data center and then Indian users can be served from here. This could be the one reason to replicate the data basically to reduce the latency and serve the customers faster. Another reason is availability. What if uh, my only data center which I maintain in USA goes down? Okay, what if what if this happens then your customers in any reason can't be served so to avoid these kind of scenarios we create copies of this data so that in case my uh, main copy goes down then i have some uh, backup in place okay some backup in place from where i can serve my customers this is another reason uh, another uh, like another reason could be it can it can be helpful in serving more TPS. Okay, so let's say you have single database. Now this single database will have a limitation on how much read queries it can support. So if you are able to configure more replicas for that, then uh, the user request can hit to all those day copies. Okay, so the TPS which you are supporting, the throughput, the read TPS, uh, read throughput you are supporting can be increased and also the request will not be blocked. It, it can indirectly contribute to latency. Like the user ka request, it is not put on hold. It can be served as soon as it has arrived. So you are uh, serving the customers faster. You are not blocking the user requests. So your read throughput hai, that has been, that will increase as you increase the number of replicas. Okay, so we are clear that we have to replication kyo karna hai. Uh, and we also should agree that uh, we have to do application because uh, these are the benefits we get out of uh, replication. Now what is uh, the basic idea to like how you can replicate the data. So it basically works on uh, a leader follower concept or like your uh, primary node and then your secondary nodes or your master slave architecture. Okay. So uh, we will be using the terminology of leader and follower. When we say leader, leader is basically when all the right happens. Okay. So the user client, uh, this is your user, all the right request will be sent to this leader node and we have then multiple copies of this node okay. which contains same data as the leader node and it is synced with the leader node. So in this case of example, we have leader node L1 and then we have two replicas R1 and R2. Uh, which replicas uh, we call them follower nodes or secondary nodes. So your uh, write request will come to those uh, this leader node and then in uh, 
the replica nodes will sync the data there there will be different ways to sync so that we will discuss in this chapter itself but uh, what is what is the basic idea so the basic idea is that uh, the data which is present on leader node will be sync with all the replicas which are present now the read request can be served from any of these replicas as well as leader but leader will be preferred for write request because we only have single node for write request for read request we have uh, like three nodes but we will prefer replica to be used to serve those requests now we discuss the general idea that uh, how your replication will happen now going into more details jaise ye aapka ho raha hai yahan pe you this is your leader node and this is your replica node now how this be, uh, process basically happens in background what is the logic written so there are on the top level there are two means to do is one is synchronous replication and another one is asynchronous replication you might have heard of earlier as well synchronous bole to synchronous bole to uh, you will get the acknowledgement of request as you have sent in asynchronous it you might get the acknowledgement but the operation might not have completed yet theek hai wo background mein chalta rahega but it, there is an there is a possibility that it is not completed as of now but we have sent a acknowledgement to the user that your request in background will be processed and uh, here is your acknowledgement samjhe baat okay so if we uh, if we talk about synchronous and asynchronous replication uh, in case of synchronous user is sent acknowledgement once write is completed on leader and followers theek hai so in this case you have to ensure that the write request which came which first was written on l1 and then it was synced with r1 and r2 then only you will send the acknowledgement but in case of asynchronous replication as soon as you write completed on leader node then you will send the acknowledgement and in background this process will continue in background this process will continue that my leaders uh, my followers will be synced with the leader node so this is the first difference uh, in case of uh, synchronous we also get a benefit that our data is always consistent because uh, on read you will get the same data and there is no possibility to get the stale data because we are making sure that write happens synchronously the write happens at the same time and after that only acknowledgement is sent 100% write hum kab manenge when the write is completed on leader as well as the follower nodes but in case of uh, asynchronous the data can be async uh, the data which which uh, like the data which is stored in the database it supports eventual consistency why because uh, there is a possibility that uh, once the write happened the another uh, the user uh, hit uh, called for uh, read query and that read uh, was uh, hit to this uh, r1 replica ठीक है जब R1 वन रेप्लिका के पास आया देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट दिस एस इंक्रोनस ऑपरेशन स्टिल इज इन प्रोसेस सो यू विल गेट स्टील डेटा इन दिस केस ठीक है सो इट विल भी इवेंचुअली कंसिस्टेंट इन सम टाइम जैसे दो सेकंड बाद पाँच सेकंड बाद एक मिनट बाद द डेटा विल भी प्रेजेंट ऑन द रेप्लिकाज बट एट द सेम टाइम इट माइट नॉट बी प्रेजेंट समझे बात Uh, another difference would be the in synchronous replication write can't be processed if any of the node goes down this 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 is a huge uh, bottleneck in case of synchronous theek okay, hai what if uh, like in synchronous replication what is the basic idea that i will perform write on all the nodes which are available be it leader beats uh, replicas but in case of asynchronous only leader has to be present so what if this replica is not present now the synchronous replication can't happen because it will wait for this replica to come up to write the data so the acknowledgement which is being sent to users it, it will be on hold theek okay? hai so user will keep on waiting time ka hai mere paas you know <laughs> time nahi hai mere paas wait karne ka so there is this big disadvantage of using synchronous replication and uh, that's why we try to move towards a semi synchronous solution theek hai jahan pe we will uh, we will discuss that uh, in few time that we try to uh, write the data to some nodes not all the nodes and then try to reach quorum theek hai that we will discuss uh moving to another thing now there might be a possibility that uh, you have a requirement to add new followers you have a requirement to add new replicas the reasons we discussed earlier theek hai ki uh, there has been a uh, traffic increase i want have to add more replicas to support that retps or let's say i am launching my application in new region canada so to uh, serve the users of canada i want to set up my database and get a uh, canada data center theek hai so that i have to do now for these scenarios ठीक है आई हैव टू एड ए न्यू रेप्लिका एंड अंदर रीजन कुड बी माई वन रेप्लिका वेंट डाउन सो टू रिप्लेस दैट रेप्लिका आई हैव टू पुट ए न्यू रेप्लिका देयर डू डेटा बेस नोट देयर सो हाउ कैन यू डू दैट 
general idea is so let's say this is your uh, initial cluster you have a leader node you have f1 and f2 these are your followers tick and data is synced from leaders to uh, followers now what if this uh, what if you have to add a new follower f3 tick so you have to ensure that whatever data is present on leader is available on f3 as well samjhe baat so there are two ways first way is you directly have a sync relation with leader then it will keep on syncing the data with f3 this is one way another way is leader node keeps timely snapshot somewhere and then f3 node can copy the snapshot uh from your backup and then uh after the snapshot let's say the time uh, snapshot was taken in t2 and right now time 2 is t uh, time is t2 theek hai so the difference of t1 minus t2 uh t2 is greater than t1 ठीक है तो डिफरेंस इज डिफरेंस ऑफ द टाइम डिफरेंस टी वन माइनस टी टू दिस स्पेसिफिक डेटा कैन बी सिंक फ्रॉम लीडर सो वाई वी वॉन्ट टू मूव टू सेकेंड अप्रोच इज वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज द लोड ऑन लीडर वी वॉन्ट आर लीडर टू बी स्पेसिफिकली फोकस्ड ऑन टू हैंडल द राइट क्वेरीज विच कम फ्रॉम यूजर्स एंड देन सेंड टाइमली सिंक ऑपरेशन ठीक है टू सेंड ऑल द सिंक लाइक टू सिंक ऑल द डेटा टू ए पर्टिकुलर एप्लीका इट विल टेक टाइम इट विल कंज्यूम सम बैंडविट इट विल कंज्यूम सम रिसोर्सेज फ्रॉम द लीडर नॉट विच वी वॉन्ट टू अवॉइड दिस कैन बी अचीव बाय सेटिंग अप ए बैकअप एंड द एफ थ्री नोट द फॉलोवर नोट विच वी आर एडिंग ए न्यू नोट ठीक है दिस कैन सिंक अप फ्रॉम दिस बैकअप नोड फ्रॉम द स्नैप शॉट वी हैव मेंटेन एंड देन दैट सम ऑफ द डेटा विच इज बिंग मिसिंग फ्रॉम द स्नैप शॉट लाइक फ्रॉम द रिसेंट डेटा दैट डेटा कैन बी सिंक फ्रॉम द लीडर नोड सो दिस इज द वे दिस इज द अप्रोच वी कैन टेक सेम गोज फॉर लाइक इफ योर एफ टू गोज डाउन देन योर एफ टू गोज डाउन ए न्यू नोड विल कम हियर न्यू एफ टू डैश ठीक है दिस एफ टू डैश विल सिंक द डेटा फ्रॉम दिस स्नैप शूट एंड देन इट विल कनेक्ट विद लीडर नोट टू गेट द डिफरेंस ऑफ एनी ऑफ द डेटा समझ गए बात नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड डेटा बेस क्लस्टर राइट देर विल बी चांसेज दैट ए पर्टिकुलर डेटा बेस वेंट डाउन ठीक है डेटा बेस नोट वेंट डाउन नाउ how will you handle those failures theek hai you in this your database cluster you have multiple nodes here theek hai you have multiple nodes here what if uh, one of the node goes down what if your master node goes down what if your leader node goes down what if your follower ned, uh, follower node goes down how will you handle those kind of failures so let's say your follower uh, there is uh, some issue in the follower and it went down what you can do you have to ensure that it comes back ठीक है बिकॉज यू हैव टू कीप ऑन सर्विंग द कस्टमर्स तो देर सन देर शुड बी सम मैकेनिज्म प्लेस इन केस ऑफ दिस माई पर्टिकुलर एफ वन गोज डाउन आई गेट ए न्यू नोट एफ वन डैश इन मिनिमम टाइम पॉसिबल सो दैट आई कैन कंटिन्यू सर्विंग माई ट्रैफिक एंड वट एवर ऑपरेशन आई वॉज डूइंग इन माई डेटा बेस क्लस्टर ठीक है दैट शुड कंटिन्यू वट एवर हैपन्स इन माई डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड डेटा बेस ठीक है सो वट यू कैन डू द फर्स्ट थिंग विच यू कैन डू इज यू कैन कीप अ लॉक ऑफ डेटा चेंजेस ऑन लोकल डिस्क like uh, whatever happening on this f1 node f1 node you can uh, keep a uh, uh, like a uh, keep a log that uh, these are the right operations which are performed on the f f1 node so if f1 goes down you will still have your disk available theek hai so what you can do the uh, new f1 the f1 dash node comes up it can connect with this disk and then uh, sync the data like uh, synchronize the data which of whatever logs we have present on disk so this could be another way uh, another uh, issue like uh, once this is done what you can do you can sync with leader node for updates during downtime theek okay? hai so when we say uh, the all the right request will be available on disk so consider this scenario that uh, this is your node f1 theek okay? hai and this is your disk uh, d theek okay? hai so it will have all the logs written here at till time t1 at t1 this node went down now this new node came uh, f1 dash at time t2 so there is uh, and t2 is greater than t1 theek hai so the difference in time the same which we did here the difference in time that data can be synced from leader node cool so this is uh, for handling of uh, follower node what if your leader node goes down big problem <laughs> लीडर उठ गया तो वी हैव टू फाइंड अ न्यू लीडर वी हैव टू फाइंड अ न्यू लीडर इफ योर लीडर नोट गोज डाउन वी हैव मल्टीपल फॉलोअर्स बट अपने पास लीडर तो एक ही था ठीक है लीडर ही चला गया तो दिक्कत है लीडर के बिना क्या कर सकते हैं हम सो वट यू कैन डू वट यू कैन डू यू कैन डू 
वन ऑफ द फॉलोअर्स कैन बी प्रमोटेड एज ए न्यू लीडर ठीक है यू हैड मल्टीपल फॉलोअर्स सो वन ऑफ द फॉलोअर्स फ्रॉम ऑल दज नोट्स कैन बी प्रमोटेड एज न्यू लीडर नाउ देर कैन बी मल्टीपल एल्गोरिथम्स और मल्टीपल वेज यू कैन डिफाइन योर कस्टम लॉजिक्स हाउ यू वॉन्ट टू डू दैट लाइक विच फॉलोअर विल बी चूजन एज द लीडर ठीक है जो सबसे ज़्यादा वो है लायक उसको हम चूज करेंगे तो वट यू कैन डू फर्स्ट यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट लीडर हैज़ फेल्ड सो फॉर दैट यू कैन हैव हेल्थ चेक्स ठीक है इफ लेट से इफ यू आर मेंटेनिंग ए जू कीपर देन यू कैन मेंटेन इट वाई दैट यू बाई सेंडिंग कंटिन्यूस पिंग टू डोज नोट्स दैट इफ इट्स अवेलेबल और नॉट ठीक है अनदर वे कुड बी लाइक दीज नोट्स कैन इंट्रैक्ट विथ ईच अदर Uh, for their availability, this leader node can connect with F1. Then uh, this leader node connected in F2. These leaders, uh, these follower nodes connect back to leader, so that they keep on sending pings to each other. So they will know which node has went down. So in case we have figured out that leader has went down, what you will do? You will choose a new leader. Now the best candidate could be node which has most recent replicate data. This will also make sense that if uh, if we are able to figure out a node, if we are figure out a follower node which has most recent data, most replic most recent replicated data, okay. So you can as uh, you can promote that as a leader so that there is no data loss or minimum data loss. a uh, system used new leader accepts rights from clients that that we have to do that uh, once the follower node is promoted as leader then it will start accepting rights earlier it was replica to wo kar nahi raha tha theek hai usko allowed nahi tha abhi humne usko permission de diya puri root wali uh what if uh, let's say uh, your uh, node went down for some time what if this node uh, came back so this node This particular node should be promoted to follower this time. पहले leader था बीच में गायब हो गया तो उसको हमने follower कर दिया uh, It should not happen कि we have two leaders now, so that we have to specifically handle that we have created a new leader and then old leader came back. So we should not have two leaders that there will be a uh, conflict of interest here. So we have to specifically handle that. So if we have uh, specified a new leader we if you have specified if you have promoted a follower to a leader if my node which went down comes back it should not come back as a leader again it should be down graded or demoted to follower this is important because we don't want to end up in a situation where we have two leaders dikkat ho jayegi ladai kar lenge dono leaders hai na to galat baat Now let's discuss about our uh, replication loops. So there are uh, certain ways on how you can do this. Uh, first one is st statement based replication. And what we do is, uh, let's say uh, you get uh, any of the operations. Okay, let's say your insert query, it's your delete query, any of the queries. You got a request from client. It was uh, moved to leader, and then you forward the same request to. followers nodes basically the statement any statement you got let's say if the for this uh, sql query uh, you got the statement that insert into this database insert into this particular table <laughs> insert into this particular table uh, where primary key is this or create a new entry any of those operations theek okay? hai so what you do you forward that same operation to the follower nodes you forward that same operation to the follower nodes theek hai leader ke paas insert operation aaya you forwarded it same insert to the follower nodes this is what we are doing now there can be problems with it if it's a simple query then we are fine but what if we have some functions like now and uh, random number generator theek hai there can be some issues why because uh, let's say uh, when you uh, executed now at uh, leader node the time was 12 pm ठीक है बट वेन यू एग्जीक्यूटेड दिस नव एट एफ वन नोड द टाइम इज ट्वेल्व जीरो वन पी एम सो यू विल हैव इनकन्सिस्टेंसी इन योर डेटा वैन वी से रेप्लीकेशन बाई रेप्लीकेशन वी मीन दैट वी वॉन्ट टू हैव एग्जैक्ट सेम कॉपी एग्जैक्ट सेम कॉपी फ्रॉम लीडर टू फॉलोअर नोट्स ठीक है डिफरेंस नहीं आना चाहिए कहीं भी इसी भी वैल्यू में डिफरेंस नहीं आना चाहिए वी वॉन्ट टू हैव एग्जैक्ट सेम कॉपी एग्जैक्ट सिमिलर कॉपी ठीक है सो देर विल बी इश्यूज अदर लाइक टू रिजोल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ इश्यूज वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन हैव सम काइंड ऑफ स्पेसिफिक हैंडलिंग ऑन दिस नोट सो दैट सर्टन काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स Uh, certain kind of statements can be avoided and these values can be sent from leader node itself but it will require a uh, lot of logic if your uh, code scales or if your uh, database scales to too many users and then your database grows exponentially theek okay? hai so in these kind of scenarios it will be little tough uh, to do this kar sakte ho aap koi nahi rok raha uh, anything is possible 
मुश्किल हो जाएगा पर ठीक है वॉट इफ योर क्वेरी डिपेंड्स ऑन एग्जिस्टिंग डेटा देर माइट बी सम एग्जिस्टिंग डेटा प्रेजेंट इन योर डेटा बेस इन योर टेबल सो वॉट इफ इट डिपेंड्स ऑन दैट देर मस्ट बी एग्जीक्यूटेड इन सेम ऑर्डर ऑन ईच रेप्लीका ठीक है इफ इट्स नॉट एग्जीक्यूटेड इन द सेम ऑर्डर देन इट मे कोज इश्यूज सेम ऑर्डर बोले तो कि uh, मेरे को पहले इंसर्ट uh, करना है कुछ फिर उसके ऊपर अपडेट uh, करना है फिर उसके ऊपर डिलीट करना एनी थिंग ऑफ दो सॉर्ट ठीक है सो दे दे हैव वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट दे आर एग्जीक्यूटेड ऑन द सेम ऑर्डर ऑन ईच ऑफ द रेप्लीकाज सो दैट वी कैन अवॉइड द डिफरेंट इफेक्ट ऐसे नहीं कि कहीं 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 किसी और तरीके से ऑप्टिमाइज हो गया कहीं और तरीके से ऑप्टिमाइज हो गया एंड वी एंड अप एंड अप विथ सम अदर वैल्यूज ठीक है सो वी हैव टू अनश्योर दैट अंदर वेज टू मेंटेन ए राइट हेड लॉक डब्ल्यू एल वी डिस्कस दिस इन आर अर्लियर चैप्टर ऑन डेटा बेसिस ठीक है वट यू वट वी डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर वॉज वट वी डू लाइक टू गिव यू ए क्विक जिस्ट वट वी डू दैट लेट से दिस इज योर डेटा बेस एंड वी यू हैव ऑपरेशन कमिंग अप की कई बार इंसर्ट आया देन वी यू हैड डिलीट ऑपरेशन देन यू हैड अपरेट ऑपरेशन वट यू डू फॉर ईच ऑफ द ऑपरेशन विच आर डन ऑन दिस डेटा बेस वी मेंटेन ए लॉग फाइल append only mode इसमें अपडेट नहीं कर सकते इट कैन ऑल द ऑपरेशन कैन बी अपेंडेड सो यू विल मेंटेन दिस एंड देन यू कैन रिफर दिस फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ इशूज ठीक है बट यू विल हैव सम इशूज एसोसिएटेड टू इट वी विल डिस्कस दैट इन हियर सो टू रिजोल्व दोज इशूज वी हैव अनदर काइंड ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन लॉग विच इज लॉजिकल और रो बेस्ड रेप्लीकेशन इन विच विट वी डू इज वी हियर यूज डिफरेंट लॉग फॉर्मेट फॉर रेप्लीकेशन एंड स्टोरेज इंजन सो in uh, earlier chapter what we discussed was a uh, while we uh, maintain this wal it was used to uh, it was also used by b tree so that in case if there are any issues with b tree if the, we the data is corrupted so that we can reconstruct that b tree uh, from that log file theek okay, hai wal file but what Uh, there can be issues associated if we are using same mechanism for replication as well as internal store internal database cluster internal storage engine theek okay? hai so if you are using that same logic for each of them there can be issues so to avoid that uh, we can use uh, logical uh, row based replication how operations are performed on this uh, let's say uh, you have to insert a row now new uh, new values for all the columns you have to uh, make sure that uh, you uh, maintain all the new columns which are updated for the uh, all the new values which are updated for those columns then there can be operation that uh, you are deleting a row so you can just basically maintain a primary key for that row that this particular row is deleted and for particular row update uh, either you can store all the uh, all the values of the columns or you can just uh, store what are the columns which are updated and what are the values with which those columns are updated another type of replication could be a uh, trigger based replication in which what we can do like any of the operations which happen on our uh, database you uh, cust- you have wrote a custom code which is triggered theek okay? hai so you have wrote a custom code which is triggered for any operations which you perform on the db samajh gaye ki aap trigger create kar rahe ho ki this is my database and i have uh, uh invoked insert operation theek okay? hai so once i get that operation i will use a uh, trigger method i will use trigger method to invoke my custom logic this is your custom logic uh, now let's uh, move to replication lag theek okay, hai so when we uh, discussed about replication right we mentioned that uh, your data is replicated from leader to follower nodes now we also discussed that uh, you can have these kind of issues let's say you were using a uh, now function then it was uh, written as 12 pm it at it here it has 1201 pm theek okay? hai so there is some kind of replication lag and we have to ensure like uh, first uh, what is replication lag and then how you can minimize it and what are the ways uh, you can avoid conflicts due to this uh, replication lag Uh, what is replication lag basically so application see outdated data in case of async replication which is eventual consistency we discussed that when data is replicated from one node to another uh, there is a possibility and it will happen because we are doing that operation asynchronously okay so data is written on leader node and once the data is written on leader node we have sent back the acknowledgement but once the acknowledgement is sent you will perform that operation in background that data is also synced with the follower nodes theek hai to follower nodes ke beech mein jab data sync ho raha there can be some time difference so 
you might not see the updated data you will see outdated data if the request are made if the user queries are made ठीक है तो दैट इज रेप्लीकेशन लाइव देर आर सम सम सिनेरियोज वेर यू स्पेसिफिकली इट कैन अफेक्ट द यूजर क्वेरीज ठीक है इन सम केसेज इट माइट नॉट वी कैन स्पेसिफिकली कॉल आउट दैट डेटा विल बी इवेंचुअली कंसिस्टेंट बट देर आर सम इश्यूज ठीक है विच वी वॉन्ट टू एड्रेस फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वे इज रीड आफ्टर राइट कंसिस्टेंसी वेन इट इज अवेलेबल वेन वेन वी शुड डू इट बेसिकली ठीक है सो रीड यूर ओन राइट्स वट वी मीन इज लेट से आई एम द यूजर I am the user on my uh, Facebook website. ठीक है On Facebook, I am the user and I updated my username. ठीक है I updated my username. ठीक है So uh, this is my leader node. Uh, the username was updated here. एम एस दीप अर्लियर इट वॉज मनदीप देन आई अपडेटेड टू एम एस दीप वन फोर ठीक है देन इट विल सिंग टू रेप्लीकाज This is your R1 replica. This is your R2 replica. Okay. The the data will be synced with replicas. Now I again query, okay, what is my new username? Then I will might be possibility that asynchronous replication may the data is not replicated yet to that node. So I might still get a uh, username as Mandeep. So user might think. कि मैंने यूजर नेम तो चेंज किया था पर यूजर मेरे को अभी भी पुराना वाला ही दिख रहा है सो वॉज माई ऑपरेशन अनसक्सेसफुल शुड आई ट्राई अगेन वॉट वॉज द इशू ठीक है सो इफ यू सी देर इज सम इशू इफ ए पर्टिकुलर यूजर इज एक्सेसिंग द सेम की अगेन देन देर इज अ इशू सो कैन वी मेक श्योर कैन वी मेक श्योर दैट इफ ए यूजर हैज स्पेसिफिक यूजर हैज मेड द अपडेट देन दैट यूजर स्पेसिफिकली एटलीस्ट सीज द अपडेट अदर यूजर्स माइट नॉट सी दैट अपडेट ठीक है सो कैन वी एनश्योर दैट वी is called read after write consistent read your own writes whatever you have written you will at least see the most recent data others ka hame pata nahi so uh, how you, how you can do uh, decide when to read from leader and when to from uh, followers so we uh, mentioned that in case of asynchronous replications the data will be written to leader road so can we make sure that if that same user is uh, same user is requesting the data can we uh direct that query can we direct that query can we route that query to the leader node so that he, uh, the user get the most recent data for one minute uh, after write read only from leader uh what do we can we do something like this that uh, this is my database and for a particular query let's say my primary key is 1 2 3 so this primary key 1 2 3 will be written from leader node after till one minute from the uh, right so this could be another way you can achieve this What if same user reads from multiple devices? This again you have to handle. कि हमने एक device के लिए तो handle कर लिया So we have to make sure that a user request, whatever users request are coming, it is uh, routed to the same data data center to handle this. And if there is a certain time gap between the data uh, data being replicated between leader and follower, then we can try to ensure that the uh, the request is routed to the leader node so that there is a high chances. मतलब होएगा ही अगर रीडर लाइक इफ द राइट इज सक्सेसफुल देन द डेटा विल बी रिट्रीव मोस्ट रिसेंटली सो दिस इज वन वे रीड आफ्टर राइट कंसिस्टेंसी अनदर अनदर थिंग रिलेटेड टू रेप्लीकेशन कुड बी मॉनिटरिंग रीड्स लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल ठीक है सो अगेन दिस इज माई डेटा बेस दिस इज योर लीडर नोट दिस इज योर आर दिस इज योर आर ठीक है एंड माई डेटा इज गेटिंग सिंक्रोनाइज माई डेटा इज गेटिंग रेप्लीकेटेड ए सिंक्रोनसली ऑन दिस रेप्लीका नोट्स एंड दिस इज माई यूजर मंदीप ये बड़ा हैंडसम सा यूजर मंदीप ठीक है तो मंदीप ने क्वेरी भेजा मंदीप सेंट वन क्वेरी एंड इट वॉज फर्स्ट राउटेड टू आर वन ठीक है सो आई गेट रेस्पॉन्स वन टू थ्री फॉर माई पर्टिकुलर क्वेरी देन आई कोल्ड अगेन ठीक है इन दिस केस आई गोट रिक्वेस्ट इन आई गोट रेस्पॉन्स आई गोट ओल्ड डेटा लेट से वन टू टू ठीक है सो Uh, what we mean by monotonic write is when i am requesting a read query again and again it might be routed to different replicas and there is a possibility due to replication law replication lag there is a possibility that i will get stale data and i am not getting the consistent data on my read queries theek hai matlab at least agar hum itna bhi kar sakte hain kya if i am getting stale data at least i get the same data every time If I am getting a stale data, can I get one to two every time? ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कई बार one to three आ रहा है, कई बार one to two आ रहा है, कई बार one to four आ रहा है. So there is a confusion as the users end. So can we avoid that? Can the same user always read from same replica so that we ensure that we are getting same data each and every time? Can we do that? So we have to ensure that. 
यूजर का एक्सपीरियंस ब्रेक नहीं होना चाहिए थर्ड थर्ड वन इज कंसिस्टेंस प्रीफिक्स राइट्स सो इफ आर राइट्स आर परफॉर्म इन सर्टन ऑर्डर रीड शुड हैपन इन सेम ऑर्डर वॉट वी मीन बाई दिस इज सो लेट से वी आर डूइंग सर्टन काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेशन ठीक है वी आर डूइंग सर्टन काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेशन सर्टन काइंड ऑफ राइट क्वेरीज नाउ इट माइट नॉट हैपन दैट लेट से आई हैव रिटर्न एक्स देन आई हैव रिटर्न वाई नाउ इफ आई एम गेटिंग रेस्पॉन्स इट शुड नॉट हैपन दैट आई एम गेटिंग वाई फर्स्ट एंड देन एक्स फर्स्ट this will again cause any issues at user send basically we are trying to save the users basically are trying to obstruct out users from whatever issues which can happen in the back end due to replication lag theek hai so these are the different ways these are different issues which can occur and we are trying to resolve them partitioning hum next chapter mein discuss karenge मल्टीपल मल्टी लीडर एप्लीकेशन ठीक है वी टिल नाउ डिस्कस दैट ए सिंगल लीडर वी हैव ए सिंगल लीडर एंड देन वी हैव मल्टीपल फॉलोअर्स नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट मल्टीपल लीडर्स ठीक है एक लीडर नहीं मल्टीपल लीडर्स चाहिए हमें तो वट वी डिस्कस अर्लियर राइट कैन हैपन ऑन एनी ऑफ द लीडर नोट लाइक वी डिस्कस अर्लियर दैट राइट विल हैपन ऑन ए सिंगल लीडर नोट एंड देन इट विल बी रेप्लीकेटेड टू द फॉलोअर नोट्स नाउ इन दिस केस इफ वी हैव मल्टीपल लीडर नोट्स If we have multiple leader nodes, then right we uh, mentioned that right can happen on any of the leader nodes. मतलब it right happen on the leader node. So we have multiple leader node now. ठीक है multiple leader nodes है अपने पास. So right can go to any of these leader nodes. And then whatever followers each of these leader nodes have, the writes uh, the request uh, and the data is replicated to those replicas. Each leader simultaneously access follower to other leaders. Uh, what we mean by this is कि uh, let's say you have two leaders. L1 and L2, and then write request was uh, performed on this W request. Now this write request also has been synchronized with this leader. So in this scenario, this L2 kind of acts as a follower to L1. Okay, let's say the write request came to L2, then L1 will uh, act as a follower to that net for that particular write query. समझ गए बात? So uh, let's understand with this uh, diagram. This uh, diagram is directly taken from the book. So let's say we have two data centers: data center one and data center two. And uh, we have uh, for each of these uh, data centers, we have leader and then we have followers. This is L1. It has two followers, F1 and F2. Then we have leader two, L2, and it has followers as F3 and F4. So basically, for every uh, write query that comes, we have to synchronize the data between these leaders. And then for the from these leaders, the data can be synchronized to the follower nodes, whatever uh, the number of follower nodes we have. Like the particular leader node have, okay. So uh, we will also require uh, some kind of conflict resolution. Uh, why? Because uh, there might be some issues. Ki uh, concurrent writes are there? Yeah, like any any issues. Let's say uh, the right query came uh, to both of these nodes. We will discuss that in some time. So in those kind of scenarios, we will also require a uh, uh, conflict resolution logic so that uh, for all the queries, when the data sync happens between L1 and L2, the leaders basically uh, the conflicts are resolved and then data is written to those. Uh, what are the benefits if we have multiple uh, multiple leaders? Uh, first one is latency improvement. So earlier we only had one leader, so write can happen on that single node only. If we like right now, since like uh, since we have moved to multiple leaders, we will have let's say. टू लीडर्स ठीक है एक लीडर से हमने दो लीडर पे मूव कर दिया देन द ट्रैफिक इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड द राइट ट्रैफिक इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड बिटवीन दीज टू लीडर्स सो राइट कैन हैपन ऑन एनी ऑफ दीज नोट्स इट इज ऑल्सो एंश्योरिंग दैट वी हैव बिकम फोल टोलरेंट ठीक है इन केस ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस दैट दैट रीड क्वेरीज कैन बी सर्व फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द रिप्लीका नोट्स ठीक है सो सेम गोज फॉर लीडर्स ठीक है राइट क्वेरीज कैन बी सर्व फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द नोट्स इफ ए सिंगल इफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लीडर गोज डाउन बाय द टाइम इट कम्स बैक योर एप्लीकेशन विल बी डाउन ठीक है the right query is can't be performed so in this case if your l2 is available if your l2 is available your system is fault tolerant in the sense that it can accept the right queries theek hai ho sakta hai zyada time lage ho sakta hai it takes more latency it consumes more latency ya fir usko processing mein zyada time lage but at least we are available at least we are solving the right query uh, there are also downsides fayda hai nuksan bhi honge uh, what is the downside same write can happen in both centers data centers concurrently which we discussed right this if the if we same uh, write occurs uh, concurrently on both of these leaders then we will require some kind of conflict resolution to resolve those kind of conflicts now how you can uh, resolve those conflicts first one is uh, conflict avoidance can we avoid the conflicts to occur theek hai like uh, if we are able to do this then there will be no requirement to actually resolve them so can we introduce some kind of mechanisms so we are able to avoid the uh, conflicts or if they occur there are very minimum conflicts available 
ठीक है सो इट्स इजियर टू रिजोल्व दैम सो कैन वी डू दैट सो फॉर डूइंग दिस वट वी कैन डू दिस इज़ वन पॉसिबल सोल्यूशन दैट रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम पर्टिकुलर यूजर आर ऑलवेज राउटेड टू सेम लीडर ठीक है सो वैन वी से कंक्रेंट राइट्स Uh, this basically occurs if that particular user uh, makes multiple write queries and they are uh, hitting to multiple leaders like different leaders every time theek hai so there can be a possibility that same write query uh, reaches to both uh, multiple leaders l1 l2 l3 theek hai so can we can try to avoid this if the particular user is assigned a particular leader and all the write all the request are sent to this particular node only single leader so in this case of uh, in this scenario uh we will have same uh, similar kind of view that from user's perspective i have only one leader i have to write data to this particular leader and we in, in there since we have only single leader on, on uh, since we are only writing data to a single leader there will be no conflicts मल्टीप्लाई आएंगे तो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट होंगे एक है तो क्या अपनी है सब कुछ <laughs> समझ रहे हो बात ठीक है अनदर वन इज कन्फर्ट कन्वर्जिंग टू कंसिस्टेंट स्टेट अगर कन्फ्लिक्ट आ गए देन हाउ यू विल हैंडल हैंडल इट वी हैव टू सम हाउ कन्वर्ज इट सम हाउ वी हैव टू रिजोल्व इट सो वट यू कैन डू असाइन ईच राइट ए यूनिक आई डी एग्जाम्पल टाइम स्टैम्प ठीक है सो फॉर ऑल द राइट ऑपरेशन विच हैपन ऑल द राइट ऑपरेशन विच हैपन ऑन द लीडर्स असाइन ए यूनिक आई डी लेट्स ए वी हैव असाइन टाइम स्टैम टू ईच ऑफ दोज राइट ऑपरेशन वट यू कैन डू यू कैन रिजोल्व द कॉन्फ्लिक्स बेसिस लास्ट राइट विन्स दिस बेसिक दिस अलगोरिथम ऑफ लास्ट राइट विन्स इज यूज बाई मल्टीपल डेटा बेसिस टू रिजोल्व द कॉन्फ्लिक्स बेसिकली वट इट मीन्स इज विच एवर राइट इज मोस्ट रिसेंट विच एवर राइट इज मोस्ट रिसेंट आई विल चूज दैट अंदर वैन अनदर इज लाइक असाइन ए ईच रेप्लीका यूनिक आई डी एंड राइट्स फ्रॉम हायर नंबर रेप्लीका टेक्स प्रेसिडेंट्स और सेम सेम ऑर्डर वी आर बेसिकली ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट विच इज़ द मोस्ट रिसेंट वन ठीक है इफ यू आर एबल टू फिगर आउट दैट आई विल चूज दैट हाँ कि ये सबसे रिसेंट आई विल चूज दिस वन ठीक है अंदर वैन इज कस्टम अप्लीकेशन कोड वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू रिलाई ऑन द डेटा बेस्ड लॉजिक वी विल राइट आर कस्टम लॉजिक एंड टू डिजोल्व दोज कॉन्फ्लिक्स ठीक है तो वो तो हमेशा अपना ऑप्शन रहता ही है कि वट एवर डेटा बेस डू आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू रिलाई ऑन दैट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू रिलाई ऑन द ऑटोमेटिक कॉन्फ्लिक्स रिजोल्यूशन बाई द डेटा बेस आई विल राइट माई कस्टम कोड एंड दैट कस्टम कोड कैन बी ट्रिगर्ड फॉर एवरी ऑफ द ऑपरेशन दैट हैपन्स ऑन द डेटा बेस uh let's discuss another type of replication so we dis- till now we discussed a uh, single leader replication we discussed multi leader replication now what if there are no leaders everyone is leader theek hai yahan pe we don't have any concepts of leader and follower here everyone is leader theek hai koi leader nahi hai koi follower nahi hai ya fir sare leader hai ya fir sare followers hai theek hai sab same democracy <coughs> uh नो मनार की ठीक है सो इन दिस केस एनी रेप्लीका कैन एक्सेप्ट राइट्स फ्रॉम राइट एंड एनी रेप्लीका कैन एक्सेप्ट राइट्स फ्रॉम द क्लाइंट्स ठीक है तो लेट से वी हैव मल्टीपल नोट्स नो ऑल दिज नोट्स कैन बी असाइन द राइट क्वेरी वी डोंट हैव एनी प्रिफरेंस हियर कि ये लीडर है द राइट क्वेरीज विल बी राउटेड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर नोट ओनली वी डोंट हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ प्रिफरेंस नाउ any of the nodes which are present in the database cluster let's say i have 10 nodes in my database cluster any of those nodes can accept my write query i don't have any preference on whichever node my write queries goes we have to ensure ki ek node hona chahiye jo write query ko accept kar sake aur usko wo accept kar le example cassandra voldemort uh, dynamo theek hai <coughs> what if uh, node is down on write so uh, we mentioned that a uh, client a uh, client can write to any of these replicas now what if this r3 is uh, down uh, and only r1 and r2 are available write is successful basis quorum we will discuss what is quorum right now uh, in some time uh, on read as well request is sent to all the nodes and then uh, recent value can be picked up basis version number so each uh, like uh, on each of the write operations we can assign version numbers and uh, which is whichever is the most recent version uh, we can pick that uh, right uh, pick that query uh, pick that response and then return as a response to write uh, read query uh so we mentioned that r3 went down then how we will ensure that r3 is in sync once it comes online uh, first way is read repair uh, what we mean by read repair is on every read we identified which replica has stale data and so write back to r3 theek okay. hai so what we mean here is 
uh, let's say uh, your user your client made write queries so in this case your data was written to r2 and r3 and r3 there was no data written now uh, when the user is requesting read queries this uh, this time the user is requesting read query okay now r3 has also came back okay it is now in healthy state so data will be returned from all these nodes you will have a custom logic handler here which will see uh, which has stale data okay we mentioned that we are maintaining a version number for each of the right queries so which has the stale data we figured out that r3 has stale data okay once we figured out that r3 has stale data you will again push a right query here to make sure that r3 has now most recent data at it, it is in sync with other databases now this will work well this will work well if we have a lot of read traffic theek hai what if my read traffic is very less theek hai to us time pe you will not be able to resolve these kind of conflicts or these kind of in sync issues with other replicas we have to uh, come up with something else another way is entry entropy process so background process to check differences between replicas so if we are uh, like if we don't have very much uh, read queries on our database then we have to uh, make sure that we have something in background which is running to ensure to check that data is sync in all those replicas and that background process can ensure that data is in sync and if it's not in sync then it to come in sync theek hai sync mein nahi hai to usko sync mein lao samajh gaye baat uh <clears throat> the quorum concept we discussed here that uh, write is successful basis quorum the one node was down but how can we ensure that write was successful this can be done basis uh, quorum quorum what we mean by quorum quorum we have made a video banaya tha in system design playlist you can refer that as well we are also discussing here so that is also not required kahin se samjho samajh mein aana chahiye so let's say uh, we have a number of replicas as n and then num uh, we have uh, to maintain two constant here ठीक है डब्लू एंड आर डब्लू मीन्स नंबर ऑफ नोट्स टू कन्फर्म राइट फॉर इट टू बी सक्सेस ठीक है लेट्स से आई हैव फाइव नोट्स नाउ इफ आई गेट इफ आई सेट डब्लू इक्वल टू थ्री दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम आउट ऑफ दिस फाइव नोट्स इफ थ्री नोट्स से दैट राइट इज सक्सेसफुल दैन राइट इज सक्सेसफुल सिमिलरली फॉर आर नंबर ऑफ नोट्स टू बी क्वेरीड फॉर रीड ठीक है वट आर द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ नोट्स दैट हैव टू बी क्वेरीड टू गेट द रीड क्वेरी सक्सेसफुल एंड लाइक बेसिकली क्वेरी दोज नोट एंड रिटर्न सक्सेसफुल रेस्पॉन्स टू द क्लाइंट क्वेरी ठीक है सो वेन वी से वी हैव रीच द कोरम दिस इज द बेसिक वट आर द वैल्यूज यू कैन सेट सो डब्ल्यू प्लस आर शुड बी ग्रेटर देन टेन एंड वी वी विल बी वी विल बी काइंड ऑफ श्योर दैट यू विल गेट अप टू डेट रीड्स ठीक है देर इज नो स्टेल डेटा and what is the general recommendation you can configure n as odd number so you can have let's say three nodes then you have five nodes you have seven nodes nine nodes some number goes on odd number theek okay? hai and w and r can can be n plus 1 by 2 so let's say your uh, number of uh, number of replicas are three basically your n equal to 3 so you can configure w and r as 3 plus 1 by 2 which is 3 plus 1 4 2 theek okay? hai so your 2 plus 2 is greater than n which is 3 condition match ho rahi hai so match ho rahi hai bhai match ho rahi hai kata kyun aise tick theek hai to condition match ho rahi hai then we we are kind of sure that uh, we will get uh, up to date reads now if you set these lower numbers then uh, there is a possibility that to get the stale reads this uh this we agree on that uh, you have set uh, numbers less than 2 let's say you have only set number as 1 and 2 and if uh, those uh, let's say uh, you have three nodes right n equal to 3 but if uh, and you have configured w equal to 1 theek hai so if uh, right is successful on this particular node then i will return successful response what if in that time this were they were down theek hai and they came back later then read query was served from any of these uh, this node theek hai r is configured also as one theek hai so there is a possibility that you will get stale data in this case theek hai stale data we try to avoid ki we, we do not get stale data so and in case of uh, like even with uh, w plus r greater than n there is possibility of stale data. let's discuss this in detail so there are two concepts here uh, first one is sloppy quorum uh, what we mean by sloppy quorum is so let's say let's say uh, there are some network disruptions theek hai uh, when we say network disruption uh, let's say uh, you have these ek to database itni baar bana diya hai na aaj <coughs> cylinder cylinder 
ठीक है तो इन केस ऑफ नेटवर्क डिस्ट्रप्शन यू माइट नॉट बी एबल टू राइट दैट क्वेरी ठीक है यू वॉन्ट टू यू वॉन्टेड टू राइट सम डेटा ऑन द डेटा बेस ठीक है सो ड्यू टू सम नेटवर्क लैग ड्यू टू सम नेटवर्क इश्यू यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू दैट ऑपरेशन दो दिस डेटा बेस वॉज अवेलेबल दो दिस डेटा बेस वॉज अवेलेबल बट ड्यू टू नेटवर्क डिस्ट्रप्शन यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू दैट सो यू कैन डू टू थिंग्स ठीक है बेसिस कोरम यू कैन रिटर्न एरर basis quorum you are you can return error that write is not successful because i was not able to reach to that node to perform the write query and i was only able to write uh, the data to single node so you can return error another way is you return a response maybe stale data without reaching quorum theek okay? hai so in this case in this case at least you are returning a response now it can be basis a use case to use case it can be basis use case to use case that how you are doing it theek okay? hai there might be a use case that you can't return a stale data theek okay? hai so in that case you have to retain uh, reach quorum but but if we have a possibility if we have a possibility if they are use case is uh, able to if our use case is able to be served with that that i can survive with stale data for some time theek okay? hai so in that case we can still return response we can still return stale data and read query successful that is called sloppy quorum ki kuch time ke liye there was some network disruption and instead of throwing errors i will return stale data so that at least read query is successful uh but since we have configured r and w since we have configured r and w reads and writes still require r and w uh, uh, successful response but response might not be from designated node what we do what we do let's say uh, we had three nodes theek okay? hai so from each node from each node what we did uh, we sent a acknowledgement theek okay? hai ki write ho gaya write ho gaya write ho gaya theek okay? hai so let's say our w was 2 uh we have to make sure that at least w is 2 for our write to be successful let's say at that particular time your two nodes were down theek okay? hai so in this case you were only able to reach to w equal to 1 theek okay? hai so you can like uh, fail that query but instead of that instead of that what you can do this particular node here sent response on this node's behalf on this node's behalf theek okay? hai so it will send two acknowledgements here so your w is 2 so in this case samajh rahe ho na thoda confusing to nahi ho raha samajh rahe ho na baat meri ki this node acts as kind of buffer for that node ki tu hai nahi abhi teri tere liye mai proxy theek hai i am not available right now i will come tomorrow theek hai tab hum apne node sync kar lenge then they will sync their data to fit each other but till that time please send a response please uh, mark my proxy attendance so that even that's just the write is successful i will sync all the data tomorrow theek okay? hai that is called intent handoff return temporary response when node is back restore it to correct state theek okay? hai ki aise samjho aise samjho the example which you talked about proxy attendance theek okay? hai uh, i am not going to class today my uh, friend will take that uh, give the attendance for me theek okay? hai and he will maintain all the notes which teacher has taught theek okay? hai the next day i go i will copy all the notes from there but the write was successful aise nahi hua ki main available nahi tha to mere paas notes nahi aaye theek okay? hai the write is successful and this is called hinted hand of kya mast example diya mandeep ne uh <coughs> Uh, let's move to uh, concurrent writes theek hai what if there are uh, concurrent writes we also discussed this uh, some time back and how we want to resolve it what if uh, we have confusion around which is most recent write so we can try to solve it with the help of last trend wins each replica stores most recent value and overwrite other older values as we say our uh, writes are concurrent so write order is undefined see ठीक है सो वेन वी से द राइट्स आर कंक्रेडेंट वी डोंट नो विच राइट केम फर्स्ट ठीक है विच राइट रिक्वेस्ट केम फर्स्ट दैट्स दैट्स वेयर वी से दैट राइट्स आर कंक्रेंट ठीक है कि से साथ में आए होंगे हमें नहीं पता कि विच वन इज द रिसेंट वन सो वट वी ट्राई टू रीज विच ट्राई टू अचेज द टाइम स्टेम टू ईच राइट एंड चूज मोस्ट रिसेंट वन विच इज कॉल्ड लास्ट राइट विन सॉल्व गोइ थम ठीक है दिस माइट लीज टू डेटा रोज देर कैन बी पॉसिबिलिटी के दैट दैट दे बोथ केम टूगेदर ठीक है so there might be a chances of data loss so what we try to do is we try to assign version numbers to each operation and subsequently merge basing basis the rewrites theek okay? hai so what we mean by this let's say uh, earlier my write came with operation x theek okay? hai 
from user one. Let's say uh, I'm uh, performing operation from two devices. One is my phone and one is my iPad. Okay. And I'm writing the data to my same primary key. Same user, same primary key, my data write or right. Okay. So I'm uh, earlier I wrote data X and then it is served to database. Okay. It is version one. Then at some time from iPad, I write data to Y. This is version Viru. Okay. So on subsequent operations on subsequent writes, I will try to merge this data so that when it is read back in phone, the phone can there apne paas x plus y aana chahiye. and on same case of iPad, it should be x plus y. In this case, it should not be, uh, let's say uh, this y was most recent, right? So the phone should not go to y, should not get only y. In this case, you are losing data, which we should avoid. So and uh, this is uh, this is the one way and uh, other point is that old values are not deleted directly. Okay. So in this case, since we merge the values, we are not deleting the older values. Okay. The version, the older version numbers. What we do, we keep uh, markers. Okay. Delete markers, which are called tombstones. Okay. We discussed this in detail in our uh, one of the video where we discussed. Uh, uh, around Cassandra, uh, around Discord architecture, where we discussed how you can uh, store billions of messages using Cassandra. Okay? So there we discussed one concept called Tombstone and what are the uh, issues could that could be associated with it. So you can go check out that video. But basically what we do, we don't, do not directly delete the data. Okay? We do not directly delete the data. Let's say you have two replicas here. Okay, so you will not directly delete the data. You will just uh, keep a delete marker here, delete marker here, so that whenever the read queries happen, this particular marker will be skipped. Okay, कि ये data deleted है, मतलब यहाँ पे database में present है, but this data is being deleted and we don't have to read uh, read this data. Okay, so you it can be skipped when the read is performed. So this is called tombstones. Okay, so we have reached to the end of the chapter. I hope we enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the content और कुछ समझ में आएगा कुछ ज्ञान की बातें मिली होगी हम मिलते हैं अपने next chapter में where we will be discussing about partitioning till then stay safe tata bye bye